Hello, I hope you are doing well. I am Mohammad Javad Zalaghi from Robotic Knowledge Channel, and in this video, I wanna quickly how actually show to you how you can set up the interface between Rust 2 and uh, Webot Simulator. Uh, so let's get uh, started. Um, if you look at Google for Webot and Rust 2 you will find that there is a package uh, that makes the interface between Rust 2 and Webots uh, possible. So you can use the power of Rust 2 for programming your uh, robot modeled inside the Webots. That's why we are interested in this um, package and you will be able to use all available Rust 2 packages uh, from uh, actually Linux and develop your robot software in that environment then call you know the software from actually um, then call the simulation environment uh, by this package this Webots Rust 2 interface package Webots underline Rust 2 uh, there is a link here getting started i have opened up this link and as you can see we have an official um, documentation for setting up this bridge uh, you can see there are lots of options here setting in inside ubuntu or windows uh, but as you can see i'm in windows so i'm uh, setting the i'm installing this uh, package in the windows um, you need um, to have a WSL because you need to uh, have Rust on your Windows and one of the options is setting up uh, actually Rust uh, on the WSL uh, also you should install, you must install um, you know, a, a Rust 2 package as you can see uh, Iron a distribution of Rust 2 is used uh, here and after setting up actually uh, the requirements having installation of webots on your pc so if i look here for uh, webots you can see i have installed webots on my computer in its default directory uh, i have a wsl here and um, i have installed um, Ubuntu Linux and Rust 2 Iron distribution, um, you know, on uh, my WSL, then uh, you can actually run this packet, uh, run this command, so do app git install Rust Iron Webots Rust 2. This will actually install the package you need. Finally, there are lots of um, pre created examples um, for showing um, how it's interesting to use this um, framework of development so uh, I will actually run one of them let's try together okay the first thing uh, here is to source my Rust packet, my Rust installation. So source opt Rust. Then I have to call this directory iron setup bash. Okay. So I have sourced my. Uh, Rust installation. Uh, then I have to go launch one of the examples. Okay, Rust 2. As I'm using a launch file, so Rust launch. Then uh, the package name was Webots Rust 2. Actually. Webots, Rust2, 
okay and uh, let's see what examples are available here uh, actually we have the bots rust to turtle bot the bots rust to universal robot um, the bots rust to mavic so uh, or the bots rust to epix lots of uh, demo packages uh, i want to call this one the bots rust to universal robot universal robot okay then let's see what launch files are available here okay uh, we have for example I'm looking for a launch by okay we have this launch by mul uh, multi robot launch so multi robot launch then enter let's let's see together what will happen soon so <coughs> you can see rasco is going up and at the same time at the same time webots is uh, popping up One of the benefits of using uh, such configuration, I mean WebAts on Windows and Rust on um, WSL, is that when you don't have, you know, a good GPU. So because if you you don't have a good GPU, you will not be able to use WebAts directly on Ubuntu. So uh, in in that case, it would be uh, very beneficial to have uh, WebAts on Windows and Rust to uh, on Linux, which is running over the WSL two WSL two. So that's very cool to have this capability. Okay. <coughs> Congratulations! Our example is working actually. Uh, it's a dummy example somehow because <laughs> the robots are moving, you know, uh, an object, you know, <laughs> it's a good for a demo, but what one robot is doing is somehow compensated but by, uh, you know, by another robot. So. <laughs> they are actually doing a waste of energy but that was our uh, demo uh, one interesting thing is that you will be able to see you know the topics which are used inside this simulation okay so for this purpose i wanna open uh, another terminal in ubuntu um, 22 Perfect, so let's first source uh, actually our Rust distribution. Cool, then I wanna show actually it, um, list of all the topics, so Rust 2 topic list. Um, okay you can see we have this abb and ur5e you know which are um, that um, uh, serial manipulators uh, and their topics so for example let's see 
Okay, uh, let's see one of the topics together. So, Rust topic. Actually, sorry, this is for Rust one. Rust, uh, Rust two. Okay. Uh, Rust two. Echo. Uh, I want to actually uh, do the echo for once time. So, this one's argument will help me. And also, I want to see, you know, in one place, in a CSV format. So, I will also add this CSV option. Then, I have to uh, look for the name of the topic. What was the name of the topic? You are five E, okay. I'm looking for this one once, then CSV. I want to see jo the joint, I want to see the joint estates. So Okay, let's see what we have in this topic. Um, we have, for example, shoulder lift, uh, shoulder lift joint, elbow joint, wrist one joint, finger middle joint, um, okay, uh, I, I don't know what are actually these values but maybe the angle of the joints or their velocity uh, we will be able to see also to also echo the topics which are related to you know uh, these robots in the uh, simulation so my simulation is uh, stuck somehow it's running but um, we have some some problem here uh, okay not a problem, not our case, uh, but I wanted to show you how you will be able to uh, use this uh, interface. So in the next tutorials, I will try to um, do something from a scratch. So uh, somehow we will create a word, an empty word probably, uh, then add a simple robot, then publish its data, have a controller node in the ROS2, then commanding the robot from ROS, and you know, we will create a simple ecosystem to have some tutorials uh, using WebBots and ROS2. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm Ahmad Javad Salah from Robotic Now channel. Goodbye.